Hey guys, welcome back to the Crafty Home. If you are new here, welcome. Today we are going to tackle a little bit of cleaning around the house. I have messes everywhere it feels like, but today I actually want to concentrate most of my cleaning in the basement and then also I'm going to tackle part of the kitchen where my husband has like, I'm going to call it a junk pile just because it's like little odds and ends that we don't have a place for and like I, the system that we have is just not working. So I'd like to tackle that and then the basement, I have to get picked up. And if you saw one of my last cleaning videos, you know that we have a leak in one of our pipes and I actually found it in the basement. So I had a storage shelf that was sitting underneath the pipe. I noticed some water damage on a box and I found a leak. So I'm pretty sure it is leaking from somewhere upstairs, either the second floor or the first floor, and it's leaking down into the basement. So we had someone kind of come out and look at it and they like put a seal around something in the tub and then tighten something else and said, give it a couple of days, see if it dries up. If not, we'll come back out. We also have like a water line issue in our neighborhood where um, the way they laid it when they built this neighborhood, they didn't do it properly. And so basically every house in our neighborhood has had to have the water line replaced. And so they're going to be digging up my whole front yard not my whole front yard, they're digging up a large portion of my front yard and they have to replace, like redo an entrance for the new water pipe into the house because the old one goes underneath our porch and they don't want to tear that up. So they're going to be working in my basement starting tomorrow. So I got to get everything cleaned up. I have a lot to do today and not that much time to do it because I have been working on another project. Um, so I'm going to try to get everything I can done now. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to go ahead and take care of the kitchen. It's like a disaster after breakfast. We do cook breakfast most mornings. So this is always the case. And then I have to unload the dishwasher, which is also always the case. Um, and then reload the things that are in the sink. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, first of all. But if you've been following me for a while, you know that I just decorated for Christmas. So in this video, it's clear that my Christmas decorations are not up. I had recorded this a couple of weeks ago, but I really wanted to get my holiday content out. So this is during fall decor, forgive me for that, but this is still good cleaning motivation, so I still wanted to post it, so hopefully you get something out of it. But like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the dishes and then clean up the kitchen first. Now that the dishes are all done, I'm going to go ahead and put away my extra pancakes. When I make pancakes in the morning, I always try to make extra because I can stick the rest in the refrigerator and then we can pop them in the toaster the next day and they're just as good as if I made them the same day. And they'll actually last for a few days in the fridge. So that's a tip for you if you do hot breakfast in the mornings like we do, uh, make extra pancakes and refrigerate them and then toast them. Uh, next, I'm just going to clean up the sink and the counters so that everything is fresh in the kitchen. And then I'm going to go ahead and move over to the dining room. Give that a quick wipe down. Thankfully, it's not very dirty today, but the big mess is in my living room.
And moving on to the living room, you can now see the project that I've been working on. I have been doing some sewing, but I'm in the middle of it. So I don't want to put all this stuff away just to drag it all back out. So I'm just going to kind of tidy up what I have here. Anything that I can throw away, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to make it kind of a neat pile because like I said, I want to keep working. So it's pointless for me to put it all away, but it does look ridiculous. And then as usual, I have a million piles of clothes sitting here. I feel like that is always the case in my house. Laundry is a never ending chore. This right here is Miss Kitty. I think she's appeared in like one other video. She rarely ever comes out. She's usually cuddled away in my son's room. So for whatever reason today, she was like super loving. So I just had to take a minute to love on her. So enjoy my cute little Miss Kitty. <laughs> she, she's one that I had gotten uh, my son when he was young and we couldn't come up with a name for her. And so that is how she ended up as Miss Kitty. And the other cat is actually my daughter's and we got her, him, uh, I think he's maybe four now, maybe four. I think he's four and she named him. She's very good with names. So that's why he ended up with an actual name of Whiskers. So it's kind of funny. Just thought I'd share. So now I'm moving on to the basement and I'm going to take care of these boxes that always get left at the bottom of the stairs to be taken up to the trash can. So this right here is the area like the unfinished area by my stairs. You can kind of see the stairs come down here and this is the wall. And I have two bookshelves. One of them's like shorter than the other, if you can see, that has like the dollhouse on top of it. But on the other side of this wall is where I used to have the wreaths, but I've had to move them, like I said, because of the pipe, which you can see is like over there and had, my storage was in the way of that. So I'm thinking about putting my wreaths on this wall kind of around the dollhouse. So we're gonna see how that goes and at least get them off the floor because it's annoying me that they're down there on the floor like that. So if we can get those off the floor, that will be a big difference. Watching this back, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I only hung like three wreaths, but I actually have quite a bit more. It's just usually I'm using three or four wreaths at a time. And then I also have like one other spot on the other side of the stairs that I can still fit a couple of wreaths. So I think I have room for six or seven wreaths on the stairs and then the rest of them are being used in like current decor. So it looks like a sad little collection, but uh, I do like wreaths. Most of them I make myself, that big blue one my daughter actually made. So that's kind of fun. I will put that up during Christmas. So now that that is done and those are off the floor, which is a huge relief, I am going to go over and work in my office and my office is a disaster. Like usual, I feel like this is one of the places that things just collect in the most. So I'm just putting everything away and then I'm gonna take a minute to wipe down all of my desks and counters down here. This is not something I get to a whole lot. I do this daily upstairs, but coming down to my office and wiping it down, I probably only do once a week or so. So it definitely needed it, especially because my cats like to come down here and walk around. So I feel like there's always cat hair all over my desk. Now I'm going to move on to this project that I have been meaning to do forever, like maybe months. As you can see, I have all these like expandable file folders and those have schoolwork for my kids from 
like all the years in school that they've done, which they really only go up through like middle school. And even the middle school doesn't have a ton of stuff just because like most of the artwork and the papers that I saved, you know, the things that come home are from the younger years. But I do like to save this stuff the problem is it's out of control. Like I saved so much more stuff than I needed to. So I'm really going to take and edit this down because I'd like to be able to just have a lot less clutter. And I'm also taking them and putting like each manila file folder that you see there, I'm putting a grade on. And then I'm going to store them in these white boxes that I had extra from Ikea. And I think it will overall just take up less space and be a nicer like storage look. I have one box for each kid. So when I go to give these to them when they're older and they can look back on their work, then I can just give them one box. And I'm also going to store all of their like cards that they've received over the years, which I have saved in this as well. So I had to take a break from working on the schoolwork just because it was overwhelming and there was a lot. And so I'm just upstairs and I'm going to load up the dishes that uh, were from lunch and a couple of things that I had gotten from the dollar store. I wanted to wash those. And then I'm going to work over on my husband's counter. And this is like his junk counter where he has all of like his miscellaneous stuff that we just don't have a place for, if that makes sense. Like normally you'd have a junk drawer that would have this kind of stuff in it. Our junk drawer isn't really junk per se. It's like pens and pencils and batteries and whatever. Um, but this is all like his stuff. And like, there's this white container that you see right there that I had made years ago. And it's actually made out of Dollar Tree foam board. And then I covered it in contact paper and like hot glued it all together. And when I made it, it worked really well for what he had, but like all things organization, I feel like sometimes you just need an update because it's just not working for you anymore. Well, the box is falling apart. So I upgraded to like a wood storage thing. I got it on Amazon. I'll actually link it below. So right now I'm just going through all of his stuff and like I'm taking it out and I'm putting it all in piles and anything that uh, doesn't necessarily belong in there or has a place somewhere else in the house, I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And then this stuff, I'm just trying to sort into categories and that's how I'll put it away in the wooden box, if that makes sense. Now, let me say, I do not throw anything of my husband's away just because even if it's like something that he doesn't want to keep, like I want him to throw it away because I don't want to be responsible if he actually needed something and I threw it away. So it's going to look like probably a lot of junk because some of it probably is. And if he, and once he goes through it, basically he'll probably get rid of part of this stuff, but at least it'll have a spot for now and it won't look so awful as it has in the past because this is definitely one area of my house that bothers me immensely. And I'm one of those kind of people who like a mess equals like disorder in my mind. So if things are cluttered and messy in my house, it makes me feel anxious. And so I feel like I'm always trying to come up with different ways to organize and clean and make things neat, if that makes any kind of sense. And I fail all the time. And as you've seen in my videos, my house is a mess a lot, but I do try and hopefully you get some sort of motivation and even some tips from my videos. So this is the wooden box that I got from Amazon. It's actually expandable. So I think it like expands to be, oh gosh, I don't know, like two to three feet. Like it's a really big storage unit. And this was like the best option I could find with like lots of different sections, which is what I wanted. So I'm just going to load it up with uh, the sec like the piles that I had made before the categories, I guess, and just see how everything fits in there. And I actually am really, really happy with how this came together. And like I said, my husband's going to end up going through this and probably throwing a bunch of it away. But if you're anything like us, junk piles up. Like it's just a fact of life. So I know it'll get full again. So it's good to have it here. And I actually really like the way it looks like the color of the wood and the style of it is really nice in my opinion. So 
so here is his storage all done. I went ahead and added some labels from my label maker uh, just to keep everything really nice and organized. And so he knew where everything was. Since I was doing this without him, I didn't want him to, you know, have anything lost when he came to look for it. But as you can see, everything just fits so nice. And there's also a spot for like his mail, stuff that he has to like see or deal with now. And then I also did a spot that has to do with like later. So for example, if there's coupons or something that he is saving for another time, there's a spot for that as well. I'm really happy with how this turned out and it's not so much of an eyesore anymore. So that is always a good thing. Next I'm moving on and these are actually shampoo and conditioner bottles and I took off the stickers so I'm just like scrubbing away the stickiness of it and I'm using these for a project in my laundry room. I actually posted my laundry room makeover recently so if you'd like to see that I'll link it below but I use these in my laundry room makeover so I was trying to do the makeover on the cheap basically <laughs> spend as little as I could and these shampoo and conditioner bottles I thought would be perfect for some of the laundry products and so I'm cleaning these off and then I'm actually going to spray paint the tops of them because they're currently green and I want them to be gold so we're going to take care of that today so that's ready for my laundry room makeover. So moving back down into my basement, I'm going to continue working on the kids' schoolwork. Uh, if you have any kind of ideas for how to store these kinds of things, or if you store them, or maybe you don't store your kids' stuff, I don't know. I'd like to know in the comments below. Like, I know that my idea is not, like, maybe the best, but it was the best I could come up with. These, like, expandable file folders were previously sitting on a shelf in my basement, and they just looked awful and were kind of overwhelming for me to look at and even like thinking about giving those to the kids later I was like what was I thinking there was so much stuff but I do like to save like just like a little bit of what they're learning and like if they write anything cute or their cute drawings like their their stories and stuff that will like mean something to them or even mean something to me. And later if they're older, if they want to throw it away, then that's their choice. But I do think it's always fun when you're an adult to like go back and look at the things that you did as a kid. Like I remember doing it when I was an adult and my mom had saved a couple of things. They did get ruined in like a flood or something in my mom's basement, but I had seen them multiple times and it was always really special and kind of cute to see what I had learned and remember some of it. So I do like to save this stuff. I don't know. I just want to know if other people do this or if I'm like crazy sentimental and weird <laughs> in doing this and then how do you store them? So both the kids' files are done now. Thank goodness. Um, it took less time than I thought, which makes me mad that I didn't do it sooner, of course. But each grade has like a little manila folder that says the grade and then the papers that I saved. It's not like pretty in the inside, but I honestly don't care because they'll be able to just take out each folder and look at whatever they want to. And I have one for each kid and there's still plenty of room. So if they have anything else to throw in there, I can fit it. The last thing I need to do down here is vacuum. I do have a separate vacuum for my basement that I do my like main two floors. And that's just because this is our old vacuum and it still worked even though the like clasp to hold the like container on, I don't even know what you call it, the dust container, the whatever it's called, uh, is broken. So it's held on by a rubber band but it still works. And so instead of lugging my other vacuum up and down, I just keep this one in the basement and use it to vacuum down here. 
uh, and it's just more convenient. So once this thing goes out, it'll go in the trash and I won't feel bad about it because I'll have gotten all the use out of it that I could. Now we're moving outside. So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these bottles. As you can see, they're um, herbal essence shampoo and conditioner bottles, but they're like the larger ones. So they're pump. And I'm just taking a little bit of masking tape and I'm going to tape off the parts of it that I don't want gold. So I figure when you pump it, like I don't want that uh, stem piece to have any spray paint because it would probably scrape off over time from pumping. So I'm really just doing like the parts that are already green are what I'm going to spray paint gold. So while I was out here, I noticed my porch is like covered with spiders and spider webs. Like I just went around and got the cobwebs off of my ceiling inside my house, but you know, it's this time of year and they collect everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and give the whole front porch a little bit of a scrape or a scrub down and just make it look clean and neat. Also, I'm going to take care of my poor fern which is kind of dying right now. It needs water. And then I'm gonna trim away like the brown bits and then I have to go through it because there's a insect family living in there and I don't wanna bring it in and I have to bring it in for the fall and winter because otherwise it will die. So I'm gonna go do that also. I just moved my fern and look what was underneath it. Oh, it's huge. Yuck. This is why I can't bring it in yet. If my daughter had seen that, she would have freaked out. She's so scared of bugs. So I did have to make sure that my fern was like bug free before I brought it in because she would not have been able to handle that. So I'm just going to fill up this bucket with some Dawn soap and some hot water. And then I have this brush. It's really meant to like hook up to a hose. And I think it's actually a car brush, but we don't use it on our cars. So because it's a longer brush, I'm gonna use this to scrub the ceiling and like all the white paint area of my front porch. And this worked really, really well to get all of that spider webs. And there's like this kind of bug that um, collects and I'm not sure what they're called, but they almost look like giant mosquitoes. Uh, and I know that they're not, but they're huge like that. And for whatever reason, those always come around and make a big mess in the fall as well. So I'm going to get rid of all of that stuff with this brush.
Now that all this is scrubbed, I'm just taking our hose and I'm putting it on the highest pressure possible. And then I'm just hosing everything down because I had used soapy water. I want to get all the soap off and then anything that was kind of left over after like brushing it because it wouldn't come off all the way. It's just almost like I loosened it. Um, hosing it down, got all of that stuff off. And I have to say, it feels really nice to have a clean front porch. Sometimes it's like something that I neglect. Most of the time we go in and out through the garage, so it's not something I'm always looking at. But, you know, doing this, it's like you really notice a difference afterwards. So the last thing I'm doing is going through my fern. As you can see, there was a little bug nest in there. And I think that there was a couple of them. So um, I'm glad I did this because I think there was some eggs in there and that would have been terrible if I had brought that in. So I'm just going to clip away all of the brown parts so that I can bring this thing back to life. And that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got some motivation out of it. If you like this kind of content, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. I always have new things. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.